Hello, I'm Andrew Lissin. Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We've got two very, very interesting things in our lineup for today. Firstly, we're of course doing a raid, the advent train mission to get supplies. And there's going to be explosives everywhere. Lots of them. Operation Heavy Smoke. Uh, so, we are bringing along a tired sharpshooter because I kind of wanted to sharpshoot knowing that there was going to be a sector pod. Uh, we do have uh, Shumar here. So that should help, but just in case I did want to bring a sharpshooter, I don't feel good about doing missions without a sharpshooter. But the interesting thing comes from a few new tweaks and weapons. So, last episode, we actually researched the assassin's weapons, and if we have a look, we now have them equipped. The Arashi, a shotgun with four mods on it. This does eight to ten damage, it has a plus four clip size, making it eight. A plus 20 to crit, so making it 30% to crit. Plus 20% chance of a bonus action when used. And plus 4 missed shot damage. If we miss, we still do 4 damage. I could trade it out for like a shard, but no. No. So good. And then we have the katana. Now, this bugs me. It's awesome looking, but it's not a katana. A katana is a very specific style of blade. In fact, it is very specific to literally measurements. Literal, like, it's not just, oh, it's a long sword, a broad sword, or whatever. Those are classes. There's many different variations within them. A katana is literally yay long-ish, with a little bit of a curve-ish, and it has to be one-sided. It's ba Basically, it's a kind of short, two-handed saber. I mean, I know that Japanese purists are not going to like that statement, but that's what it is. A katana, metallurgically, yeah, cool. It's really, really sharp, etc. for its age. But it is just a short two-handed saber. Most samurai fought with pikes. It was for, you know, after pike fighting, like room clearance or whatever. It's a short two-handed weapon. Makes sense in that regard. This is not. This is very short. Look how much of the blade there is. Half of it is blade. It's more like a small stave or pole arm or something really. The blade is two-sided. There is no curve to it. It is not a katana. And what is it? It's paired with a wakazashi? Is that the one? I'm not an expert on that. But we don't actually have that. It says it does but it just bugs me that media these days go, alright, everything should be a katana. Katanas were very specific to one period in one country. They weren't you know, universal in any regard, and there's nothing particularly special about them in terms of the design standpoint. Historically, yes, they were very sharp for their area, blah, 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 blah. But because of that, they had to be one-sided rather than two-sided because the iron quality in Japan wasn't good enough to manage a two-sided blade. So they sandwiched a brittle metal at the front with a malleable metal at the back to give it the rigidity. Anyway, that's enough about katanas. We're going with the war suit on you to get some explosives because I want to be able to shred armor. Uh, we were also bringing the exosuit over here, but the other weapon I want to show you is this. Now, remember last episode, we upgraded all of our upgrades, weapon upgrades. We put the thing on that makes all weapon upgrades better. So basically, all percentage ones got by 5%, and all ammo ones got by plus 1 ammo, or plus 1 damage if the damage ones. This means that we have a certain ability that I did talk about how amazing it would be if we upgraded it. Uh, soldier abilities. Banish. Fire at a target until you run out of ammo or it dies. Okay. Just bear that in mind. Okay, so we've got plus three ammo. There are much better than plus three ammo, by the way. We could have plus four, but whatever. We don't have one. For now, it's plus three. We've got a scope, which is plus 20, not plus 15 because of the upgrade. That's great. Superior repeater. Normally, this is plus 15. It's plus 20. Chance to insta-kill on any one shot. Now, let me remind you. What was the ability we just looked at? Banish? On our action, we can choose to, at the cost of revealing the Reaper. Baby, don't reveal the Reaper. Fire all of our shots in our gun. Six shots. Each one having a 20% chance to insta-kill. I mean, it's a little bit. I'm just saying. 
a greater than 50% chance. You can't stack them. It doesn't add to 120%. It's not guaranteed. You have to do 20, then you have to do 20 of 80, then you have to do 20 of 60, then you have to do 20 of 40, then you have to do 20 of 20, or something like that. It's not literally that, because it's 20 of the remaining, which after 80 isn't 80 anymore. It, the point being that it's a compound, and it's complicated to work out, and I can't bother to do it. But it works out to being about more than 50, I think, off the top of my head, to just say goodbye to any one unit. So if we see the Sector Pod, I want to give this a try. Because it would be like, oh, hi, Sector Pod. Bye, Sector Pod. That said, we are on a map with loads of explosives scattered around, and you have the ability to just detonate them and stay hidden. So, whatever. Uh, right, we good to go? Standard. I might change you to have a dragon round run a plasma grenade. I would say maybe Venom, but because we know there's a heavy mech and there's a sector pod, I'm gonna go dragon. Let's do it. Maybe I'll reveal the Reaper. He will banish you, can you go kill you? Come on, baby, let's banish the sector pod. Sky Ranger deployed. That thing's gonna die, but down, bow, 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 bow. Operation Heavy Smoke. I'm seriously, I am so chuffed by those awesome weapons. The uh, Arish, Arish the, the Katana, which I kind of got sidetracked on, doesn't miss. It can't. And it does really good damage. Now, of course, unlike the Arnic Axis, we don't get free axe throw action, which is kind of annoying, because I really like the free action you get from that. As of yet, the aliens haven't managed to secure but it's the really location, good. So we're moving in to take advantage. Ooh, hello. Xenoform terrain. I do like Xenoform terrain in the morning. Or the evening. I don't know what time it is. Coordinates of the advent train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. Oh, so good. Can I look at your slash? No, there's no target, so I can't look at it. I'm on the move. I wish I could give you a grapple, Alex. You will never hide from me. They have a patrol moving here. Uh, three advent troops. I'm not wasting my reveal on three advent troops. If they want to get next to some explosives, then sure, I'll do something about it. But otherwise, no. Uh, we have to get a sector pod on the reveal, I'm thinking. I mean, certainly on your reveal. Banish will be amazing. Baby, I'll reveal the Reaper. Got it covered. I see the path. I see the path oh, and yeah. it blinds me. I walk into it and it's go, black. Go, go. Uh, we'll move you up to here. Getting it done. You cannot run. No, but they can walk. Don't like you much anyway. I just have to state that that is one of the things I'm worried about is the uh, commander. Because commander's abilities do make it very hard for them to just say, yeah, goodbye to that one troop in particular because of the aim bonus. Okay, Alex, move up. Um, I go where you tell me. Can't see me. Do 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 do. Can't see me. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Can't see me. Uh, we could put a sniper up here. I believe that is cover. If we move to there. Grapple out. They're on to us. Oh well. I was wondering if uh, that would reveal us. It did. I'm not too fussed about it. How much damage we do with our sword? It's 
Anyone wondering why I did that? Um, you can move out of an enemy's line of sight with a grapple. So I was wondering if you could move into it. And the only way to figure that is to try it. So that's what I did. If you're wondering why. Uh, right. I don't know, I might flashbang them over there. I could have set it up a better way. Yes, I admit. Darshuma. I mean, we've reduced your cover. I kind of want to be able to kill you with a shot from Shadowfall, so we go, um... Actually, no, I don't, because I want to have Overwatch. That won't kill you. No, I need two more health off you. Well, maybe three or four. What have we got, then? Technically, I'd like to kill you with Dagobert. Because Dagobert can then do a load of cool stuff. Like absorbing your essence. I don't want to reveal you if I can avoid it. Okay, that means I will make taking a shot down here. can't kill you. Well, I guess we will kill you then. We can use a uh, ability to go and take people after. Me. I just want to see the sword in action. It does 9 to 10 damage, so be good. Uh, and then we'll move to... Yeah. I'm on it. You move up. Orders confirmed on the move. Flashbang. There we go. I think we blew up the uh, barrel here. Sure. Fire. Fire good. And I guess we'll overwatch. I am watching. Hi. Fire. Okay, I need to kill you with um, Dago, but other than that, kind of open on this one. That should be easy enough to do. And I can always use Blink. Still can't see anyone there. Okay. Sniper shot on you. you know that was good. Death from above, so we can then fire a pistol at you. Good. And which means you can then get this I think you can get that kill. I think we have to max out our damage. Mm. Suffer my rage. Or we could crit. That works too. And then absorb your focus. Which means we do more damage and we have abilities. And then we'll conceal you. They won't see a thing. They won't feel a thing. I will go. I will always find you. Um. Hi. Understood. Move it out.
Volk says I am to obey. Yep. Yep, Volk says a lot of stuff. Um. Okay. It's a lot of enemies in one space. See, I don't care about my target Moving preview, I care about my hack preview. Okay, I can hack. Making new friends! Okay. Control would have been so fun. But control is such a risk at a 42%, and upgrading a sector pod on a fail is just it. That's that's the option if you really hate yourself. And if to de whoa, if we were to detonate that, uh, it would hit everyone that we cared about. I gotta say, I like that option. Right, we'll go into Overwatch mode. Locking it down. Because we're probably gonna reveal this turn. We will remote start that. Watch closely. <laughs> So much death. Deflection. Ah, oh, the building's just gone. It's just gone. Okay. Uh, the sector pod is down so far. There might be supplies in here, by the way. I, I don't actually mind. Most of the supplies should be near the train. But for what it was worth, that was worth it. Uh, ooh, that would be a kill. Uh, finding cover would then be difficult, admittedly. Or I could kill you. Oh, we might actually be able to kill everyone this turn. Uh, I doubt it, but we'll give it a go. Position confirmed. If we use you to stash that, do we have... Oh, you're going to be one shy. I touch the fire and it freezes me. With pleasure. I walk into it and it's black. There we go. Kill the troop. And yeah, uh, by the way, that's the other thing about this. Our blade is not stopped by armor. It's amazing. They see me. Target eliminated. I forgot about the Archon down here. There is an Archon right there. Um, I think I'm hidden behind this right now. I don't think it's seen me. If that is the case, I don't actually want to be seen. Where is it? it? Must be here somewhere. I mean, I could throw a freeze grenade, but I wouldn't know what I'd be firing at, so... I will sense any disturbance. I'm actually tempted to leave you in the open because you might not have triggered the unit. Oh, hello. A miss? You're joking. That never happens. Yeah, that's another explosive barrel. You are so dead, mate. 
Uh, I'm really tempted to do the uh, banish on that, but at the same time... Oh, remote start is a one turn cooldown. Okay. Um, you can see the sector pod. So if we reload and you can banish... I'm reloading. Now, note that I know I don't need to banish. I could probably sort this out a different way. But I really want to see his ability I in action. Join your gods. No, not an insta-kill. Try again. Not an insta-kill. Try again. I think we just killed it from normal damage. Which, you know, it's, it's acceptable. On your order. Okay, where's the Archon? Still can't see the Archon. Come on it. Um, it's not a free reload, is it? Where's the reload button? There we go. Reload, no, it's not free. I'm gonna go with the Lancer. God damn Maybe dodges! Could just... I'll stab you. I'll stab you and then run away. I'll go for that one. And we treat you. You can never escape my sight. Oh, hi. Heading out. I could go here. Don't want to go behind an explosive barrel. Doesn't seem like a good idea. I could stab you. Okay. We will go stand in the open. And then, if we were to chain shot, what's our chances? 70%? Do it! I'll get him next time. That's really bad. Because not only did we chain shot and miss on the same percent, which means that we didn't get the second shot, it also means that the battle frenzied. That's so bad. Um, you know what? We have a solution to this. I could actually have just inverted, but I'm going to just thrust bomb you. That happened rather quick. <clears throat> yeah, I was worried you might do a mind control here, but we do have a way to block the thing you're hiding behind. No, don't, I was need, might need you. We'll need to give him some time you to also can't really go berserk. You have no ammo. Whoops. This is not good. That's one of our most powerful troops I will go. that's been captured will by the enemy there. Um... Oh, I can't shadow when I'm flanked. Well, Ooh. on your order. Okay, reload. Oh, you're not berserked. Ah, right. We have a power that um, means that it was a, a country bonus, continent bonus, that. Any negative mental condition only lasts one turn. It's not one turn as in both our turns. It's one turn as in it happened on their turn. It lasted on their turn. So we berserked on their turn. And we're not berserked anymore. But we didn't need to reload. And since that wasn't a three reload. That's kind of it. I think what we'll do. Is we will. Grapple out. Use a free grapple move. And follow it with a three move move. We could um, somehow get you to teleport across or something, some such nonsense. Can you shoot? 
95, okay. Can you do it from cover? No, no. Dear uh, flank cover. Okay, um, you move to there. You move to there. We're gonna have to ignore the priestess turn and also our own unit. I'm so sorry. Wilkinson got along with everyone as well. That's the problem. Uh, right, then we take the shot with you. And then we do the stabby stab. We start run damage. And we get a promotion to major, which is good. I'm gonna put you in cover. I'm on put you in cover. And then hope that they don't do too much on their turn. Stasis. That's annoying because I would have used you to explode the petrol station. This is what I'm worried about. Wilkinson is such a deadly beast. A I'm stasis. What? I'm not sure if that made sense. Uh, have we got a line of sight? No, not on who we want. Oh. Oh, we could, though. What if we... Switched ourselves? We could switch ourselves, and that would work. Right. Oh my god, the switcheroo ability is so good. Right, target preview. We can see the alien when we get to here. So, hi, priest. We're going to attempt to skull mine you. Target still fail. Active. No? Ah, it is a fail. That sucks. We did two damage. Oh. We did nine damage. If we went for Shadow Fall, no, it wouldn't be enough. Okay. Get the priest down. Went off the armor. We get our mind control back. On your order. Overwatch. Overwatch. Now. Right, priest, try and survive this. I think someone was a bit annoyed about the whole mind control business. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. That was dangerous though. If Wilkinson hadn't decided to use the boom, uh, Wilkinson could probably come along and slash someone and done a whole ton of damage. Or worse yet, use the shotgun, which has a 20% chance of getting another turn after. That would be bad. Uh, let's change position. Okay. A lot of injuries, though. Not a fan of the injuries. And hopefully we won't uh, be... Sh no, we'll be shaken because we took a tired unit, so the tired unit's going to be shaken and won't be able to come... So we down stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have took... I think the Dagobert has to get kind of the MVP award there. Um, no. That's a lie. It's got to go to our... our Reaper. I'm glad to see that our cooperation with the resistance factions because that explosion so at the beginning that leveled half the Their map killed so many. Big help around here. Dagobert did pretty good. Ooh.
Each melee killing reaper mode grants an extra action, but third melee attacks reduce damage. Or rapid fire. I want both of these. Rapid firing, that gun is so good. I'm going to go for reaper for now. I'll probably buy the other one. You are gifted. You have 10 uh, points to spend. Okay, what do you get? Ren generates a wave of psionic energy in the direction of the attack. Damage increases with focus level. Okay. Exchange location with a squad mate. Okay. Does not trigger overwatch or reaction fire. That's pretty nice because, hell, you're a stabby stab person going through reaction fire is something that benefits you. But I'm going to say Arcway for now. I want to learn what we get a kernel because there are four options at kernel with you. Ah, ooh, that's a lot of alloy. Uh, and then Lyrum, and then supplies, and and Lyrum core. Only one. Don't complain too much, though. Shaken, rest required. Okay. Shaken, rest required. Okay. Obsessive reloader on two Shumagi. I don't think I can heal that. But I can heal you. I think I have to wait until you're um, less tired before I can do that. That was a good battle. Uh, Alien Eye, Lyrum Crystal. Not now. The dogs of Advent were quick to strike us. Our position must have been known. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed. Newton and advanced purifiers. This defeat will be a costly one. Hammer giant. Okay, begin rescue. Hammer's time. A mutant and advanced purifiers. Okay. You've got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. On the move. Moving I'll be frank with you. I plan on not doing that. Got it covered. Scanning. Okay. The cavalry here. Wraith one, here. your team is compromised. We're picking up Advent response forces inbound on your position. Affirmative. Moving out. Moving to Overwatch. watch. Come and join me. If I just run, you will just come and shoot me. So, yeah, I might as well just take you out. Take me out to the ball park. Shoot me into the face. I like that, like, lost right there. He's like... Okay, uh, so we'll use a lightning hands to injure you. Fire pistol, it won't end our turn because you can fire a pistol and then continue on. And then we go face off. And then you... Confirm. There we go. Whoops! That's what happens when you miss your target. I'm gonna just take a second to reload. Let's do this. Got Overwatch. Hello. I'm looking forward to face off against the lost. That's going to be fun. Target neutralized. Shot to connect. Hostiles 
I'll do this cannon. before moving because this way, sniper rifle. Lols. It's all the fun. Hostile target down. X ray neutralized. It's killing. Then we time. reload. Then we shoot with you. Target down. Then we move with you. Then we move Ready with you. Ready Nothing reload. Affirmative. Covering now. Now, there are purifiers and mutants to worry about. Only three of them, though. Moving to I think the Shadow Chimp is very useful for these ambush situations. I'm fully anticipating, like, something at the end of this T-junction. In my experience of ambush maps, it tends to be pretty formulaic. Um, it goes to T-junction. At the end of the T-junction, there is some enemy. Blah, 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 blah. Moving to position. Sorry. I hate being right. Who am I kidding? I love being right. Uh, we'll take a free action. Because three actions are free, even Shot if we suck at them. That was pretty bad. Moving on target location. Get hit the plate. Now, if we take a shot here, we're effectively saying if we miss, we're getting a grenade. Target Only just alive. enough damage. Oh. Yeah, the Lost Swarm can be very close if they want, but it doesn't change the fact that they are going to die. Ten four. Double time. Because I have face-off. I think I only get one action refunded. I don't think I get an action for each kill, which would be a shame, because otherwise I could get like five kills and be like, yep, I uh, get five more actions. let you just fight the lost but hostile neutralized instead I guess I'll shoot you and miss. enemy is still up because it's me On that'd be too easy heading out boom hard target minimal damage Okay. Please tell me you want to fight the Lost. I mean, I didn't expect you to actually do that. Lost, why are you coming at me? There's literally a guy right next to you down there. There we go. It's better. Just keep that up. On the move. Right. Oh, hi. I like that knockback. Out of my line of sight. It's a pretty good knockback. Heading there now. It's not a free reload, is it? It is a free reload. We're green to go. Come get scanning. Burning, you've got a fire weakness, so we'll see how it goes. Five run ability, you take total damage. Literally, the guy right next to you. I like I like the lost as an idea, and I like a lot of their execution. I really do not like how they completely ignore Advent a lot of the time. It seems so bizarre. On your order. Like you can't actually tactically play the lost because they will just come after you. Seems strange. Oh. Well, I guess I have to go and grab that. I'm on it. I 
Only a scout. Advanced agility I'll take. Hoping for a Lyrum course. Really do need some more. Oh, I thought it would be two purifiers, not two... Mutants. I don't know why I thought that. Don't get too close, because if I get close enough, then the mutant is obviously going to go for us. Come get some. Instead, I'm hoping it goes for the lost. Lost one? Sure. I do really want to try a face at some point, but I haven't really had the chance. Hi. Bye. What? Oh, shame. Moving to position. Closing on target position now. Hostile terminated. Okay. Well, I, I could stick around and fight the Lost and try and do a face-off, which I would totally be down for. The problem is a mutant can actually do quite a lot of damage if I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is, so I don't want to take the risk. There's only, like, a tiny risk the mutant might actually kill us, but I don't want to take that. That's a bad picture. Need to up my selfie game. Yet to discover exactly what type of exposure led to the creation of these lost civilians, but their numbers would indicate a widespread effect. Capacity discharge restoration. Damaging and stunning all nearby units, that's useful, but restoration is also really useful. Again, I'd be down for getting both. I'm gonna go for restoration. Plus 20 dodge? I'll take. Our actions have succeeded. And we've and chosen a stronghold available. Together we have learned even more about the chosen that pursue you, Commander. Commander, we just heard from the resistance. They found a way into the chosen stronghold. We shouldn't pass up this opportunity to take the fight directly to the Elders. We have learned new things, new tactics to be used against the Elder Servants. If you would order it, we will make it so. Additional weapon slot for a modular rifle? Like alien loot, 18 ability points. Improve the UFO tracking systems, reducing the cost of UFO defense for the air. Ability points, tempting. Breakthrough research, also tempting. I'll do breakthrough research because it's easier to do. Chuck a scientist on it. Then chuck like a low ranked soldier of some kind. Um, I'm gonna say we should chuck a low rank specialist. Do we have such a thing as like a mid rank specialist? Yeah. First blog. And I'm not gonna bother sending eh, you know what? I could send just a really low ranked soldier just for the XP. Marvin, you're on. Do it. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Mm. Okay, it's going to be a while before we can hit that facility. Uh, my anticipated time is about 15 days because I want to make sure we can take a lot of really good people along. Now. Clunky monkey. 15 points. Yeah, but you're not my... You are my high strength, but you're not my best specialist. Unfortunately, that is Darshuma. Um...
No, I won't get Dagobah Kukelin stuff I'll yet. I'll be the first to admit, I may have underestimated you, Commander. I just wasn't entirely sure what the big deal was. But Rock after time. putting down one of the Elders chosen permanently, you've shown that you're in this fight till the end. The Reapers owe you one. Serial is really good. Hail of Bullets is also pretty good. Hell, I could go through this and take most of these abilities and be very, very pleased. Like Blade Master and Shadow Step, I think are really, really beneficial for Wilkinson. Because Wilkinson is, well, we've gone up this path. Probably more of a assault in use. I mean, Implacable is definitely great. Uh, conceal versus Run and Gun. I'd say maybe Conceal. You know what? I'm going to spend a lot of points here. I think that's worth it. Because Wilkinson has proved time and time again that Wilkinson is completely not a badass. I think that's worthwhile. Right. Where do you want to go next? Supply you know what? We'll go heal faster. Avenger plotting new course. We have an awful lot of supplies. So now it's time to visit Shen. And the Proving Ground, because I'm not doing anything that I've meant to do for a very long time. Uh, I would like a lot of things. I would like a lot of things here. Like, I'd like a war suit. I'd like a race suit. But I think... Experimental Powered Weapon. Plasma Blaster. Releasing a massive focus pulse of energy that will devastate targets in a fixed path. Oh, it's a line weapon. Ah, I don't want the line weapon. Again. Blaster launcher. Yes, guided projectile. Amazing. That means I don't need line of sight. Um, I'd be tempted to go for another one. But it won't be much use without more suits. So, I'm probably going to say another war suit or another race suit. Uh, Battlefield Medicine, actually. Battlefield Medicine does need a Lyrum Core. Serpent suit. You know what? I've never built the serpent suit. I don't know how good it is. But we're gonna do it. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Hello, Commander. Uh upgrade the bolt pup. Could do. I think we'll save that for when we actually bring the bolt pup out I'd again. Love to get a better look at that rifle the chosen hunter uses. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Get the sniper rifle. I do like the idea of that. Insanity. Generate explosive field of psychic energy that immediately damages everything within organic minutes through chance of suffering insanity. Void Rift, so good. Definitely on the Void Rift. Take it as a compliment. I'm doing whatever I can to slow it down. Enough, right? The Chosen aren't afraid to resort to sabotage tactics if it means slowing down our efforts. We need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Eight days. If we're going to slow them 13 down. Thirteen days we'll need to get you shaken. Fast. Could probably go without you. Who are you getting along with? Krakellen. You know what? I could put you and Krakellen together. Yeah, I ship you too. No, not your beam rifle. That, I don't mind. That looks pretty awesome. Alpha Warden. Warfer. Alden. Alden? Yeah. Take photo. Well done. You are now husband and wife. Are you husband and wife or are you wife and wife? Either way. Uh, we have a plus dodge... I do like that. I might install it on someone important. What else? I think we're done there for now. Probably done the healing place as well. Um, build faster? No. Intel? We could do. If you ask me, these Templars are just as crazy as my brother. 
What is it about psionic energy that seems to drive them so completely mad? I mean, they're pretty badass. Our cooperation has proven to be a boon to the resistance. Okay, so we've got our ability to add an extra slot onto assault rifles, which is great. Fabricate a PCS, ability points. I like ability points. Take six days, chance for soldier wounded. We can negate that with intel. And it was plus dodge, wasn't it? I'm tempted to give it to Charles Judge. Because I really don't want you getting shot. And then any old soldier. So, Marvin. And we'll let you get the, uh... The injury. Our order is clear, and we will obey it. Serpent Suit. Uses a grapple mechanism infused with the Viper King's fridge of venom, which used to pull enemies out of cover and freeze them in place. What? Serpent Armor, an enhanced version of Serpent Suit, reinforced with a leer, and this arm maintains all its predecessor's capabilities, while further boosting survivability speed and reflexes of the wearer. I need to see this in action. Let's go check it out. Um, it will be under... Engineering. Commander. View inventory. Oh, I can't actually view what it does there. It's just the blurb. Okay, let's just look at a random soldier. Plus 35 dodge. Plus one mobility. Lose a health. Grapple. Frostbite. Lash attack the grapple, freeze them in place. I like it. It's not as good as Warden Armor. But I like it. It looks like we're wearing some sort of fancy onesie, admittedly. Not because it's a onesie, but because it's got all the frippery. Sonic training. Uh, solace. Locking mental impairment is too good. This will prove to have been an important breakthrough. Plus one damage on beam. Modular assault rifle. Arc on autopsy. We'll do that instantly. The product of an extensive fusion of both alien biological materials and advanced mechanical support systems. The Archon is an unusually ornate design by alien standards. With an air of authority spurred by its distinctive appearance, I can only assume the aliens intended it to be something of a herald to the other forces. I guess we know they have morale, if that's it the case. It certainly is impressive looking, if nothing else. Fusion blade, fusion blade. Although I am still not entirely sure what the aliens hope to achieve with such a grand design. Okay. Plasma Lance. 11 days. Storm Gun. Don't really need a Storm Gun. We've already got a shotgun of some kind. Uh, I say we do this, and then we'll start on some of the other stuff. Because we're not going to be killing the sniper anytime soon. I will make that our highest priority. You better. We can investigate the black market if we so choose. I'll probably do that and just buy some PCS and stuff. There are negative traits. Someone has a negative trait, but they must be tired or something. Uh, four days until you're ready. Do I actually want you? No, I want you. Six days. So six days. And that's if we go without Alex Alex. We'd be probably putting Mars in him. I kind of want to keep Alex for this. That's nine days. We could do it in six. It depends. But we're looking at September 25th. Or Gorilla Ops. 
Scientist. Bending reed. Meh. 25 lost. That's just tempting to do because it's lost. Only lost. So tempting. Hack the wrist computer. So there's a computer being left? Just in the middle of a lost target? Okay. Energy signal transmission just high level sonic enemies present. Okay. Guarantees reinforcements. Cancels that out. Okay, that one I think we have to do. And it's only gatekeepers and elite priests. Holy cow. That seems fun, but horrific. We get a Colonel Ranger. Chance to enter Overwatch. Ooh, that's a difficult choice. Elite Priest, Elite Purifier, Elite Troop, Archon, Spectre. In terms of the troops, that's easy. Get a fully leveled up Ranger. I already have a fully up leveled up Ranger though, so as much as that is tempting... I don't want reinforcements rather than Overwatch. Overwatch isn't too bad, I can counter that. Reinforcements could come down a terrible point. And quite frankly, although it's probably the most difficult mission, although I know it says that this is very difficult, this is very difficult, and this is merely difficult, the idea of fighting gatekeepers and priests, and that being it, is awful. Just awful. I don't, I really don't want that. Really don't want that. But we're going to do it. So that'll be next episode. So if you've liked, like, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Next episode, it's Silent Storm. Because why not? Absolutely, why not? I've been Enter Elysium. Until next time, like, subscribe, stay shiny.